Oh, alrighty. That's time to justify my choice. <clears throat> Sorry, I gotta make this review super quick, because the Game Awards are on in three hours, and I still need to do my game review for the day on the other channel. So, Home Alone 2. I personally think it's better than the first one. I know that that statement is probably going to get me shot in the comment section, but that's the truth. The truth is, I love this movie more than the original. I think this one is very underrated, extremely funny, incredibly entertaining, and has even more heart than the first one did. In my opinion. Yes, on the surface, it just seems like a blatant retrend of the first movie. I can completely understand that. What makes this movie better? The bigger setting, because it is in New York. Tim Curry, who just makes this movie. The more elaborate traps, when it gets to the actual trap scene. The plot is a little better. And I just think it's personally a lot funnier. Like... This movie nonstop made me laugh, and like I said, I accidentally watched these out of order because when you go to when I'm on when I'm in a hotel room at freaking Maryland, I never get control of the TV, and we always just pick whatever Christmas channel is on, and it always has like Freeform or ABC Family or whatever, and it always plays this one and not the original. It's weird. Like, whenever I actually get to sit down and watch something on TV for once, which is rare nowadays, it's always playing this one. And that part always just perplexed me. But maybe because I've seen it more than I've seen the original, I like it more because I just feel like it did everything the first one did, but much, much better. At least in my personal opinion. I thought it was funnier. I thought it had more heart. I thought the setting was better because it was a lot more wide open. Because this was a huge city. It's literally New York. Yes, I could have done without the Donald Trump cameo. Or Tronal Dump, I guess as you call him. <laughs> Tronal Dump. Uh, I'm sorry. He's just, he's just too easy to make fun of. Again, Tim Curry, who just makes this movie. I love all the scenes in the hotel. Probably the best part of the movie. And I like how this one actually has a more elaborate plot aside from Harry and Merv just robbing a robbing a house. Instead they're actually gonna go bigger and rob a toy store now that they've escaped jail. Um I don't think it's a perfect movie. I do think Macaulay Culkin's acting in this one is particularly bad because it is very phoned in and very I'll just say overconfident in his performance, I'll put it that way. Harry and, Harry and Marv are still great here. I don't know why I said Merv. I'm going to say Marv. Harry and Marv are great here. Again, I already talked about Tim Curry. And even Rob Schneider is good in this movie. Do you know how rare that is for Rob Schneider to actually be in a good movie and actually be one of the better parts of it? That is rare. And all the jokes are funny, the action's good, I love the trap scene in this movie, it's so elaborate, it's so much bigger than it was in the first one, and it just feels a lot more concise, I should say. Yes, the ending is a bit rushed, yes, it starts out in the first half as just a blatant rehash of the original, but I just feel like it does things better. I know that's a controversial statement, and I know it's gonna get me shot in the comments section by the Home Alone elitists, but... I just love Home Alone 2 better, personally. I know that is controversial, but it is my opinion and I'm going to stick by it. My final verdict for Home Alone 2 is a high 9 out of 10. Great film, great sequel, does not deserve half of the shit it gets online, and I really enjoy it. I watch it every single year alongside the first one. So. Join me next time when we start to take a look at the slow but very depressing, horrible decline of this franchise with Home Alone 3. So until then, thanks for watching. I'm Jack Smallson with Saiyan 77. Remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And also, please tune in for the Game Awards tonight. We gotta, we gotta support, we gotta support Sonic. I know this has nothing to do with this, but support the Blue Blur. Because he's up for two awards tonight, and I want him to get both. And we gotta be there to support him. But that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace.